Here is the flat kidney model. Three pieces. First piece is, of course, the kidney itself. The outer layer of the kidney is the renal capsule. The light tissue that's somewhat superficial, that is the renal cortex. Places where the renal cortex go deeper are referred to as the renal columns. These are all renal columns, this lighter tissue. These darker tissue triangles are renal pyramids. All of the renal pyramids together make up the renal medulla. So one triangle, renal pyramid, all the pyramids together, renal medulla. Each renal pyramid's apex is the renal papilla. So renal pyramid has a renal papilla. Papilla fits into a minor calyx. So there's a minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx. Minor calyx is fused to form major calyxes, which become the renal pelvis. Renal pelvis, when it leaves the kidney, becomes the ureter. Blood vessels, this is the renal artery, splits into the segmental arteries, which become the interlobar arteries. They go over the top of the pyramid as arcuate arteries and then become the cortical radiate arteries. Uh, veins, same names, opposite direction, cortical radiate veins, become arcuate veins, interlobar veins, leading to the renal vein. Um, this area here is where we have some nephrons. We see this blown up here. So this is in big, what that was. Here we have a nephron, so here is one nephron. Here is another nephron. Each nephron connects to a collecting duct. Um, the nephron has many parts. The little spheres are the glomerular capsules. Then the glomerular capsule is the glomerulus. Coming off the glomerular capsule, you have the proximal convoluted tubule. becomes the nephron loop. Nephron loop has two parts, a descending limb and an ascending limb. This is the distal convoluted tubule that connects to the collecting duct. So again, glomerular capsule, glomerulus, proximal convoluted tubule, descending limb, ascending limb of the nephron loop distal convoluted tubule. These capillaries here are the basorecta capillaries that lie on top of the nephron loop. Up here is the peritubular capillaries that lie on top of the convoluted tubules. This is cortical radiate artery, cortical radiate vein, uh, arcuate artery, arcuate vein, interlobar artery, interlobar vein. This is of course in the renal pyramid. This is renal cortex. And we take this little spot here and blow it up, and it gives us this model. So this is the parietal layer of the glomerular capsule. Oops. It's a parietal layer of the glomerular capsule. This light tissue here represents the visceral layer of the glomerular capsule, which means we have a capsular space in between the parietal layer and the visceral layer. Visceral layer of the glomerular capsule covers the glomerulus. So these blood capillaries here are the glomerulus. This is all glomerulus, normally covered by the visceral layer of the glomerular capsule. Blood arrives via the afferent arterial, exits via the efferent arterial. Afferent is bigger than efferent. This represents the ascending limb of the nephron loop. This part of the afferent arteria and the nephron loop uh, come together to become the juxtaglomerular apparatus. And this is the beginning of the proximal convoluted tubule.